I will now show you how to add new news articles to your website. On the front page you have a module or a section that will always show the latest news. So in this case it shows five different news. When you add a new news article that will be added here at the top always. Uh, to create a news article you have to first of all log on to your front end by clicking login. You write your username and the password, no secret key. And you are now logged into the website. You can see that uh, because you get the edit icon over the different modules when you uh, move the mouse around on your front page. You now scroll all the way down and you have got two new buttons here. One to create a support ticket. I will quickly demonstrate that in case you run into any problem. You basically write here what your problem is, your name, your email. You choose the Humana template. Write the name of your website and tell us what the problem is. You have to type the number in here and you can save or attach files. Hopefully it wouldn't come to that. For now you click add news article this will open an editor where you can type in a title and the text of your article many times you have this already prepared in a word document and uh, when pasting copy pasting from word to your website you have to be aware of one thing in Word, you already have a lot of formatting, like a font size that might be different than the one you're using on the website. You have a f uh, sorry, the font size and the font type. Here you have size 14, here you have size 11. You have some bold text and you have some italic text. And in all in all, this looks different than the articles that is already on your website. So you need to strip out all the formatting from this before you paste it in to your editor on your website and I'll show you how to do that now. First of all you copy all the text Control C on the Windows to copy you go to your editor and in the editor you right click and you have something called paste as plain text. This will bring up another window use Control V on your keyboard to paste text into the window. I'll do that, Control V, and then I say insert. As you see now, all the formatting has been removed. You don't have any bold text or underlined text, so th this is right. Now it will be styled as the rest of the website. This was the title of the article, so I will move that up here to the title. So mark control x to copy uh, to to cut and control v to paste then i will just move the text up so now i have a title and i have a text now i want to insert a, a, a picture into this article using the dropix uh, you can insert a picture wherever you want it could be to the right to be to the left towards the bottom, that's up to you. I will put it, I have a habit to always put it in the top left corner. So I put the marker up there and I have a button called images drop picks down here. I click on that and that will bring up a screen that you already remember from before when you saw the video about the drop picks. Uh, I have already prepared a couple of pictures in here uh, for single pictures. And I could add any of these two, but I can also on the fly add more pictures from here and actually use them instead. Um, in this example, I want to use uh, this picture. And um, as you remember before, we put a title on the picture that's still there. Everything looks okay. Um, a line to the left. That's also what I want to the left of the text or to the right of the text. I want it to the left. 
and it will show the thumbnails, which is the smallest type of picture that will enlarge when you click on it. I can now insert a picture by clicking up here. And the picture has been added to the news article. Now all I have to do is to click Save. And the news article is now visible on the front page. And it will open uh, with the picture to the left. I can also click on the image and the text title of the picture will show under the image. That's basically how you make a news where you add a picture. Uh, and as you learned before, to edit text already on the website, as you logged in, you can always click the edit button to come back into the editor and do changes. Um, I will also show you how to add a gallery into this article. Uh, when you make news articles, you always have to have a single picture first. And if you want to have a gallery, you can make that further down in the article. If you don't put a single image and only an article, uh, and only a gallery, on your front page, it will not show the picture. So that's the reason why you always need a single image first. Now if I want to add a gallery down here, I again click the Images drop picks. I expand this and I have actually prepared a gallery here with six pictures. And if I click on a single picture, I can insert that. If I click on the folder, I get an option to insert this gallery, which means all the six pictures will be added to this article. I'll do that now. The gallery will show like this in the editor, just to indicate that there is a gallery here, but you can't see it from the back end. Now I'll save the article. And as you see now, there's a gallery that has been added to this news article. So that's how you add a gallery. And if you click on it, it will open in large. And you can click next, next to go through all the pictures. And here you see the importance of creating a title so people can follow the story of your slideshow. But that's basically how you add a single image and how you add a slideshow. If I want to remove the slideshow, I just go back in. I mark it, I click delete on the keyboard, and I save the article. Now the slideshow has been removed. Normally the slideshow um, looks better if you have a longer text. Uh, also to add pictures, you can add several single pictures if you have a long text, some to the left and some to the right. Uh, you can add as many single pictures to one article as you want. When you're done, you click log out and now you're back to your front page. Uh, you go back to your front page by clicking home and your news have been added.